I've just been colouring this owl that's for a competition and I tested out this little area up here, ignore that scribble on my hand and I thought I would show you how I'm doing my background because I want the whole thing to be like a galaxy background I do have neo colours and I have tested this out before with neo colours but I want to go for something darker and um, something that I can just do with pencils because not everybody has neo colours and I only have three so um, the colours you'll need for this are, I'm using the Artezas here, but you need a black, you need a blue, so I have Mykonos blue here, and it's this kind of blue. You need a dark, sort of bluey purple, so I've got ultramarine. And you then need a lighter purple, so I picked lavender. And I also, apart from the black, used these colours to make this blend in here. But I um, added the black so it would look a bit more moody. And then you'll also need either a Posca pen or like a uni um, jelly roll pen. Something you can do white dots with basically. So I'm going to add my white dots up here for the stars. Like so. And then I'm going to show you how to do the background. So basically here I've done a very dark line all the way around the edge of this part of the page with the black. I've then very very light pressure done a grey tone just to help my Mykonos blue blend into it a bit easier because if you've got a harsh dark line you can't blend colours you just have one colour and then another colour so then the next colour I'm going to use is the Mykonos blue and I'm going to go over that light grey with a, a medium pressure because obviously you want to colour up that grey but you want your blue to blend in with the grey and the black so just go all the way around blending in that blue with the, the grey and the black Now this paper that I'm using is Navigator and it's super smooth paper so it's not the best for blending on but because I wanted to do a marker base it's really good for alcohol markers as you can see. Um, I will be going over all of this with uh, pencils as well. So just carry on blending in this blue with your medium pressure on your pencil so when you've got to like this then go back to it but do an even lighter pressure to create something like that so you want the lightest pressure that that pencil can do and I'm colouring in a circle motion here. Um, I just find it helps with blending to colour in a circular motion. So you bring that down. And you can go back over areas you feel may need touching up a little bit. But the importance is to keep it light pressure like so you then take your dark purpley blue so I've got ultramarine and do the same you go over that blue in 
a circular motion with a medium pressure. So I'm going to join these two parts up here, like so. And then just keep going all the way around. Okay, like so. And then you do the same again, but with the lightest pressure. And then this is for your final colour to blend into. So although you didn't see me do the black, I, I did the same with the black as what I'm doing with these other colours. Okay, so you've got, oh, just need to crack that bit up there. So you've got a really smooth edge like that. Now this looks quite grainy at the moment, but we will be using a blend pencil. So then you take your lightest purple, which I've got lavender, and you go over the whole thing. I'm using a medium pressure. Like so. And it's this colour that you find really brings it together. I'm going to go right to the edge of my page with it. And then with a slightly darker pressure, um, heavier pressure, I'm going to go back over. And then fading into a lighter pressure as we get towards the edge. So heavier pressure, medium, light. Okay. Then once you have what resembles this, we are going to take our blender pencil. I am using the Koinor Poly Colour Blender. I swear by this blender. Um, it's 82 pence on Colt pens. And I absolutely love this blender. I use it all the time. For me, I feel it's the best one um, for any pencils. So with a heavy pressure, you can already see the difference there. You're just going to colour over all that you've just done, like so. You can use a circular motion, you can use an up and down, it really doesn't matter. You can also use a sort of left to right, so you're dragging that colour out. You can really do do no wrong with the blending. But you just want a smooth finish. And because you've layered quite a few colours, there should be a nice amount of pigment there to pick up. And move around. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this off by a heavy pressure drawing everything out and smoothing it over till you've got something that resembles that and then again all you do with your Posca pen or um, jelly roll is just do some dots if you want to do a big star I just do a long thin line and then a shorter line 
make that a little bit longer like that and then I kind of do a little bit make a diamond in the middle I need to rub my Posca one second guys my Posca needs shaking up find your Posca pens doing that guys just give them a shake and it will get the ink flowing again so you do that and then continue doing all your stars around it like so and then when the whole thing's done you'll have an awesome galaxy background okay guys that's it for the tutorial I hope you find this useful. Uh, please do post a comment below if you use this technique and it works out for you. And I will see you in my next video. Happy colouring! Bye!